Hello, my friend. It is my favorite, favorite video of the month. It is my favorites and fails countdown video where I count down from the worst product I tried this month. It's really, really, really bad to the best product I tried this month, which is really, really, really good. Can't wait to share them with you. Hang tight. We're getting into it right now. Hello, editing Jen here. So I realized that I meant to include this as an add-on to this video because a woman that I went to high school with opened up her own subscription box for kids for celebrating their intelligence. Her name is Shakira McDonald and she did such a fantastic job on this box and she was kind enough to send it to me. This is not sponsored. Skip ahead button is there if you wanna just skip past this part. But if you do have a young child, an elementary age child, if you wanted just something supplemental at home to help uh, really increase their confidence and help them figure out their best smarts and celebrate how smart they are. This really is a great subscription box. It does come with a book in each one that she wrote and there's these beautiful illustrations inside, just absolutely gorgeous. And this is Shakira, it gives her bio in the end here. And you get an activity book with activities to go along with the book. There's different activities and puzzles. You also get tons of things to celebrate the different ways that kids can be smart beyond math, reading, and writing. So inside this bag, you get so many cool goodies to celebrate kids who are smart in art. You get some clay, you get some earbuds for kids that are smart in music. For word smart kids, you get a flashcard pack here. I mean, just so many really cool things. A jump rope for those that are physically smart. And this whole bag is just full of all kinds of exciting things for kids to play with. And I was just really, really impressed with how well this was put together. In your first box, the kids get to take a quiz to figure out what their highest smarts are and different ones that maybe they might want to make stronger. There is a parent guide that shows you how to use the box, how to make Make the best out of using your box so you can use everything that's inside with your kid and it's just so so cool she puts so much love into this and I'm just so incredibly excited for her so I did want to share it with you and yeah this is not sponsored I just I'm really excited for her. so now that I shared that with you let's go ahead and go back to my favorites and fails video all right you know what let's just jump into it let's start with number 10 Number 10 is a product that I meant to include last month and I forgot to include it because I tried to block it out of my mind how bad it was. <laughs> but I remembered it came back. Oh my goodness. This is the Tom Ford Black Orchid Hair Mist. I, I paid so much money for this and I, I need to return it to Sephora because it's, it's terrible. If you know me, you know I love Tom Ford Black Orchid. It is my favorite scent ever. So when the Sephora VIB Rouge sale came along and I saw they had a hair mist, I was like, yes, so excited for this. My hair can smell like it and it'll be great. Oh my goodness, this oiled up my hair so bad. And honestly, I couldn't even smell it that much on my hair. Like I could barely smell it. I personally prefer the actual perfume to this. And maybe I used too much of it, but I couldn't smell it. And I wanted to be able to smell it on my hair and I couldn't smell it. So I, I used less and I couldn't smell it and it still greased up my hair a little bit. So this one's definitely a no and uh, no. It's a no. Next up is a mascara that was sent to me in PR. It is the Mascara Revolution. If you're gonna call something the mascara, if it is the mascara, it better be good, girlfriend or boyfriend. It better be good. This is not good. I did not enjoy this at all. Okay, so it's got kind of a better than sex mascara wand here. Super, super clump city. So, but then when I make the clumps go out and I kind of go like this and get the clumps out, then I'm left with a little bit of length and no volume. It is a super weird mascara. I am not enjoying it at all. It makes a huge mess on the top of the container if you're not careful. It's very clumpy and blucky and not good and I do not enjoy this mascara at all and it makes me very sad because I did hear that some people do like this and do enjoy it. It just didn't agree with my lashes so this is gonna be a no for me. 
The next product is another one that was sent in PR from Too Faced, and I'm very sad because I'm excited to be on the Too Faced PR list, but they're, they're pretty rich collection. I don't know what happened with that and why things happened the way that they did and that it wasn't really their strongest collection, in my opinion. These are the Diamond Light Highlighters, and they are stinking gorgeous. I mean, if you look at the packaging, you open this up, and then you've got this beautiful box inside. Inside the box, which you can throw this outside box away, but I just, you know, I wanted to save it to show you. It looks like a little jewelry box. It is so incredibly beautiful. And then you've got this beautiful highlight in here. The problem is, is this doesn't apply to the skin, <laughs> at least my skin. I can't get it to apply. They did send their brush to go with it. And if you look at how dense this brush is, that gives you a hint as to what kind of pigmentation you're gonna get from the product because they feel like you need a very, very dense brush in order to apply this product. It just doesn't come off. And they have had Too Faced products like this in the past. I will put a picture of it here if I can find what it was because I can't remember it off the top of my head where it's just very densely packed to the point where you can't get the product to come off. So it's absolutely beautiful, but if I wanna pay this much for a product, I want it to apply as well. And I think if they made it softer, they wouldn't be able to keep this beautiful diamond shape. And that's where we've got kind of the, the give and take of this product. So, I mean, you can fight with it to get it onto your cheeks, especially with a dense brush like this, like you can get it on. So I have two of them here. I did save some of them for future giveaway, just in case. This is the fancy pink diamond. This one's called Diamond Fire. These were the two that I personally tried and I just really didn't like them at all, even though they're absolutely gorgeous. Now don't, I can just see, I, I'm waiting, the comments are gonna flood in on the next one. They're just gonna, how ter I'm a horrible person and I don't know what I'm talking about and all of that, I know, I know it's coming and that's okay. You know, you feel what you need to feel. This is the Morphe and James Charles palette. <laughs> It's it's okay. It's why it's kind of in the middle. It's an okay palette. It's huge, number one. So storing it is going to be difficult. I feel like this was made, like I said in my full review that I'll link down below, I feel like this was made specifically for a specific audience of people in that people that like to do Instagram-y kinds of makeup looks have a lot of time to sit at the makeup desk and really work the eyeshadows to make them blend together, work well. James recommends that you start dark and then work your way up lighter rather than the opposite, which is what I typically do, which is, you know, to add on more as you go. He recommends starting with the dark and then blending that out as you go. One thing that I didn't mention in the full review that I want to mention is if you are of an age where the seeing of small print <laughs> it's difficult for you. This is going to be a nightmare trying to see these shade names on this tiny little, I mean, you can see from there how tiny the print is there. I mean, that was definitely not taken into consideration by his 19 year old mind. Uh, maybe one day he'll laugh about how tiny that print was, uh, you know, 30, 40 years from now. But anyway, so, it's, it's a good palette. I love the color selection. I think he did a fantastic job with the color selection. There's really only one shade in here that I don't enjoy, which is this guy right here. I just find it very difficult to work with. You just have to be prepared to put the work in. This shade right here is definitely my favorite. I think that one's called Face. This one is absolutely gorgeous. The rest are just good. They're good and you can get pretty looks. And I think that the hype is over hype because it's James, you know, it's James. The next product is one that I personally really, really enjoy, but I feel like it wasn't quite made for my skin tone. I can get it to work, but I feel like it would work much, much better on deeper skin tones. So I did want to mention it. This is the Ofra collab with Francesca Tlot, and this is the face palette. The quality of this is phenomenal. I have used the bronzers and I'm not a big bronzer person and I've been able to get them to work for me and look very, very pretty on me as bronzers. I absolutely love the blushes. I'm wearing this one on my cheeks today. They're very bright and intense and you just have to go in with a light hand if you're of my skin tone or lighter. If you're lighter than me, this may not be a good product just because you've got these big pans of deeper colored bronzer. But if these colors call to you, I highly recommend picking this up. This was sent to me in PR and this was the product that stood out to me as being unique and very, very good for the right person. 
Lorac also sent me their holiday collection, and I do want to mention the eyeshadow palette to you. If you've never used Lorac eyeshadows before, they're very, very pigmented, but very easy to use. They blend out very nicely. The only thing is, is when you dip your brush in here, there's a lot of kick up of powder. So definitely be aware of that and tap lightly into the shades as you use them. I am wearing it on my eyes today. I'm using this shade Royalty and then this shade Splendor as my lid colors that you can see right now. They just blend so beautifully into each other. And if you've never tried a Lorac eyeshadow, I definitely recommend checking it out because they really are fun to play with. The color scheme in here, a lot of it is kind of muted colors. They're a little bit darker, but you can definitely get brighter looks as well. So it's really up to you whether you like the color scheme, but I do want to recommend L Lorac eyeshadows to you because they really are fantastic. And a lot of times, just a little hint, a lot of times these holiday collections will go on sale. Like, since it came out on the holidays, look for it in like a couple of weeks or so and see if they go on sale because they do put these at discount. And I would definitely recommend getting this at a discount. Number four was a surprise product from BoxyCharm and this is tweezers. <laughs> I know it seems lame, but it was so good. This is by Farrah Brushes, and these are the best tweezers I've ever used in my entire life. They're double-sided, so they've got a flat side and then they've got a pointy side. And what I love about these is that when, you know, when you're tweezing your eyebrows, sometimes you have to pinch really hard I don't feel like these you have to pinch very hard, like you can really just pinch pretty lightly. And the other thing is, is it grabs the hair very easily. The most annoying thing for me when I'm trying to tweeze my eyebrows is when the hair slips loose as I'm trying to pull it out and then I have to go back in and go back in and go back in on the same hair multiple times, it's super annoying. This, I don't have to do that. I get it first time almost every single time and I love that it's two-sided so I can use whichever side seems to be working better for that particular part of my face. And overall, they're just fantastic tweezers. I never thought of tweezers would be in my monthly favorites and fails, but they were so good, I had to mention them. Number three was from a big bag of products that I got from Doll 10. I'm still trying to test some of them. I was testing the Morphe Foundation, which the review is coming, I promise. There are some things that led to me not being able to film it this week. The Foundation Concealer Powder Review, it's on the way. But there, there were some uh, foundation products from Doll 10 that I'm still testing out that I wanna share with you eventually. But this has been the product that I've gone back to over and over and over again from the stuff that they sent. This is called To The Point, and it's in the shade Mocha. So it's a very, very, very dark brown. It's almost black, but I kind of like that in that it's not so inky black that you get that really bold black line. It's also very easy to use. It is dual sided. So you get this little teeny tiny skinny point on one side, which is really good for getting the inner corner of the eye. And then also you get a traditional brush tip on the other side. It bends to the eye super easily, even if your lids aren't super taut it's very easy to apply this just kind of give your eye a little bit of a pull and then apply and it's just a really really good liner it reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D liner in Trooper but just not as bold black color because it is that mocha color uh, and it's just it's really really good the only thing I've noticed about it is that it doesn't apply as well over foiled shadows as it does over like shimmer and matte shadows so if you're using bright foiled eyeshadows it may not apply as well but other than that it's just fantastic liner definitely a new favorite Number two, another new favorite. I did my skincare routine video and this was a standout product from that. This is the Pixi Glow Tonic. And I know this is a favorite among many people who watch beauty videos on YouTube. Ingredients in here are fantastic, really, really good. And I've just very much been enjoying using this. I definitely feel like my skin feels more balanced. Like, so if I cleanse my face and I use this after and before I put on any other skincare, my skin just feels really good after I use it. And I'm gonna continue to to use it. I'm now working on a drugstore only skincare routine and because this is a drugstore product, I'm continuing to use it and really, really enjoying it. And I can't wait to use up this whole bottle. It's gonna be gone. And finally, another product that completely caught me off guard. Usually my number one is something that really is just like, oh my gosh. Okay, these Lorac lipsticks that came with their holiday collection, again, set in PR. These are so good. 
five lipsticks, 25 bucks. They're all like nudie kinds of colors. So keep that in mind, whether you would like that color scheme or not. I am wearing the Secret Agent one on my lips today. For such a comfortable lipstick, they're extremely long wearing, which is different for me. And the, the price point at $5 a piece in that set. And then like I was saying earlier, they're probably going to go on discount because most Lorac stuff does. If you don't want to wait and you're, you're worried they're going to sell out, maybe pick them up now because they're still super cheap at $5 a piece for like a higher end quality lipstick. Highly recommend these. These are really, really nice. If I was being really, really picky, I would say they're very, very slightly dry, but so slightly. So if I do the kiss test on this, you can see a little tiny, tiny bit of transfer, but you notice my lipstick has not budged. That's what we're dealing with here. Just a teeny, teeny bit dry, but not uncomfortable, at least for me. And I'm very textural. I don't like anything to be super dry on my lips, but they last a really long time. And you know, the price point, I just, I couldn't get over how cheap they were as far as the price compared to what the quality that you're getting. So that's why they're number one and why I really wanted to highlight them because I think that you will absolutely love them. So that is it for my monthly favorites and fails countdown. I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love to hear not just your thoughts on the products that I've showed you today, but what are some of the favorite products you've been trying recently? Leave those in the comments down below in the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness, where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. I would love to know your thoughts. If you learn from somebody down there, leave them a little comment, a thank you, give them a thumbs up on their comment. Let's encourage each other. Let's be a community. Me a friend down there and again not to you thanks for watching i'll see you in a video very very soon bye